today I will explain to you the parts analog of the camera. First, I will explain the front, the front parts and analog of camera. First, the first part of the front and analog of camera is the shutter speed ISO. This one, this one is the shutter shutter speed ISO or film seat ring. It will control the length of time when light can strike the sensitized material. Part of an analog of camera is the shutter release button. This one. Aside from aside from the shutter speed, I saw the is the shutter release button. The use of shutter release button is a part of a camera which, when pressed, will keep the shutter in up in an open position. The third part is the film advance lever. Aside from the shutter release button, is the film advance lever. The use of film advance lever is a mechanism for moving film from one spool to another in incrementally one frame at a time. This one, the third, aside from the shutter, shutter release button. For the fourth part of an analog of camera is the frame counter or the exposure counter. Aside from the film advance lever is the frame counter. The use of the frame counter is a device indicating the number of exposures made. Fifth part of the part and parts analog of camera is the neck strap. This one below the below the frame counter is the neck strap. The use of neck strap neck strap eyelet is a small ring that holds a strap to help carry the camera. The, below the neck strap eyelet is the hand grip. This is the almost always the primary contact point between the photographer and the camera. So it decides to make it large enough to grip and hold the weight of the camera. The camera. The seven parts of the part and analog of camera is the self timer lever. This one. This one is the self timer lever. The use of cell timer lever is a device on camera that gives a delay between pressing the shutter release and the shutter firing. The eighth part of the parts and analog camera is the lens release button. In front of the hand, gri hand grip is the lens release button. The use of lens release button is to use this lens release button is press this button to unlock the lens mount and detach the lens by rotating it. The hind part of the parts and analog of camera is the hot show contact or the accessory show. This one. Ab ab above, above the camera is the hot show contact or the accessory show. The use of hot show contact or accessory show it is where the flash bulb is interested for indoor photography. Part of the parts and analog of camera is the film rewind crank. The left side of the hot show contact is the film rewind crank. This one. This is the film rewind crank. The use of film rewind crank, crank is a device used in opening the back cover for film reloading. It is used for real film reloading. The film rewind crank. The 11 parts of the part and analog of camera is the film rewind knob. Aside from the film rewind crank is the film rewind knob. A device to secure the film for any accidental rewinding. It is used for accidental rewinding, the film rewind knob. The 12 parts of the part and analog of camera is the film speed window. Aside from the shutter speed ISO is the film speed window. It is a camera device in which when adjusted it will confirm with the sensitivity of the film to light. The film speed window. The parts of the part and analog of camera is the aperture ring. The first rotating circle is the aperture ring. It, it delays and contracts the, contr and the control
hold the diameter of the hole that the light passes through to let the light it is controlled by the f stop ring you will rotate it by the use of f stop aperture the aperture ring f stop this one the 14 parts of the 14 part of the parts that allow camera is the distance scale in front of the aperture ring is the distance scale the distance scale is a device that shows the approximate distance from the optical center of the lens to the point of the focus on the object. It is used by adjusting the, the distance you will focus the object to focus the object. The 15th part of the parts and analog of camera is the focusing ring. In front of the Distance scale is the focusing ring. It moves the lens back and forth, which allows the photographer to create a sharp image of the subject. This one is very useful to the photographer because they, they use it to focus and sharp the object. The sixteen part of the parts analog camera is the depth of field preview lever. Above this, this one. Above this, set. The self timer lever is the depth of field preview lever. It it refers to the distance between the closest and farthest objects that appear acceptably sharp. This one is the depth of field preview lever. The seventeenth part, the seventeenth part of the parts and analog camera is the multiple exposure lever. Aside from the frame counter is the multiple exposure lever. The use of multiple exposure levers allow a photographer to superimpose one object or scene over another on the same frame of photograph. The last part of the parts and analog camera is the exposure measurement button. Above above the lens release button is the exposure measurement button. The use of exposure measurement button is it is a photographic auxiliary device that measures the intensity of light and indicates proper exposure combination of aperture and shutter for film or image sensors of a specific sensitivity. That's all for the front part analog of camera. Next one that I explain is the back parts and analog of camera. This one is the back parts and analog of camera. The first part of the of the back part analog camera is the viewfinder. This is the viewfinder this is in the whole viewfinder eyepiece. The viewfinder eyepiece is a viewing instrument attached to a camera used to obtain proper composition. From the film guide rails is the rewind fork. Third part of the back back parts and analog of camera is the film cartridge chamber. Below the rewind fork is the film cartridge chamber. It is necessary to, to load the film firmly. It is the canal area located at the left side at the back of the camera. This one, left side and back of the camera. Part of the back parts and analog of the camera is the battery chamber lid. Aside from the back is the battery chamber lid. This makes it easier to manufacture the camera casing and raises the strength of the camera casing. Battery chamber lid. Next parts of the back part analog camera is the tripod socket. Aside from the battery chamber lid is the tripod socket. 
it allows you to attach the camera it allows you to attach camera to a firm support the tripod socket the seventh part of the back parts analog camera is the film guide rails this one's the film guide rails inside the back parts analog camera is the film guide rails this one it is located inside the back parts this is the tiny port protrude fragmentary metals found at the top and bottom area of the focal plane shutter window both edges to the film line on it does its size to accurate with the width of the film this one is the film guide drills the eighth part of the back parts analog camera is the film sprockets from the right side aside from the right side of the film guide drills the film sprocket this one is the film sprocket the small one as a part of the film transport mechanism this is where the sprocket holes will be engaged in this is where the sprocket holes belong. It gets sprocket. The line part of the back parts analog camera is the camera back. This one is the camera back. When you hold a camera, this is the one that you can see first, the camera back. It is a digital camera back. It's a device that attaches to the back of the camera in place the additional negative film holder and contains an electronic image sensor the camera part of the back parts and along the camera is the film pressure plate the center of the camera box is the film pressure plate this one is the film pressure plate comprising a plate having a large number of uh, projections with their tops only curved to press with the film without scratching it to hold it flat in the focal plane of the camera. This is the use of the film pressure plane. The 11 part of the back parts analog camera is the film rewind button. Aside of the camera back is the film rewind button. This one is beside. It allows you to rewind the film back to the original canister so you can remove the canister from the camera without exposing the film. It is the use of film rewind button. The film part of the back parts analog camera is the film take up spool. Aside from the film sprocket is the film take up spool. This is a metal or plastic cylinder generally located in the right side of the camera looking from behind. It pulls, it pulls the film along so an exposed film can be placed behind the shutter. The film take up spool. The last part of the back parts analog, cam analog camera is the film cartridge 